Hi, Ray Hayden here, and this video is going to be part of the experimental video series that I'm making, and uh, maybe for creators, well, helping creators as well. Um, this one here, I'm going to talk about this little camera mount that I picked up. Now, uh, this I, I made a uh, device a long time ago. It's made out of two pieces of wood, a couple of big uh, toggle bolts or something like that through it with wing nuts on the end. That's what's holding my cell phone right now. Uh, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to get something that was a lot lighter for my uh, Fat Gecko. Uh, this is the single, and then I got a, a two more over there that's a triple, makes a triple uh, suction cup. Uh, but the uh, rig that's holding my camera right now, or my cell phone camera, is too heavy. So if I put that on my window, my motorcycle, whatever, anything, it was just too bouncy. So it was never going to really work out for me. So I decided that what I really needed was something that was really, really lightweight, um, that could hold the camera steady enough uh, to get the job done. So what I did is I, I basically looked at a whole bunch of different uh, mounting options and everything else. I was pretty impressed with a lot of what I saw. Uh, some of it cost far too much for my purposes. I was just never going to spend that kind of money for it. Um, and then I looked for one that was kind of made of metal or, uh, you know, just a high quality, you know, build, right? You know, it could have been heavy duty plastic or whatever. Uh, but what I ended up doing instead was just basically going to Walmart and uh, online and I found a very inexpensive one. Uh, this one here was less than $10, I'm sure, if not closer to five. Um, the build quality is pretty good. It definitely meets my purposes and my, uh, the way in which I'm gonna use the thing. Basically put it on a tripod, but what I wanted to have was something that had this capability here was to be able to turn, uh, turn the mount so that the uh, phone or the, you know, whatever you're mounting up into it could work either which direction, you know, so it could work uh, however you need to do it. If, if you're going to be on a little bit of an angle rather than taking everything apart and re-putting, you know, reconnecting everything back up, you could just turn this little handle here and, you know, make a little connection and it has ridges on it. There's a little ridge. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see the little ridges here, but there's little ridges on this thing. There you go. You can see them there. And uh, they lock in on the back of this other mount. This is the part that holds your phone. And it can, you know, you can kind of dial it into, you know, a little, little bit of fine tuning there. So between your different connections, you can get the job done. Now this one here can mount directly to my tripod because it has that four, a 20 uh, screw down there or the uh, receptor. It also has it on this other part too. So normally I just keep the two pieces together so as not to lose anything uh, because, you know, the tripod holds things pretty still and I'm not going to bounce it around. Now, the camera that's doing this is the regular camera that I shoot video with, and this is my other cell phone, uh, just to show you how this works. Uh, there are buttons on top of the case here, these little ridges, so you don't want to, you know, put the button uh, under pressure because the, the phone will turn off or something, some crazy thing, your vol volume will go nuts, and it'll just go on automatic uh, control that you don't want. So basically, you just put the phone in here to where, you know, the button is just kind of out, outbound, from the uh, connector, which, you know, kind of is a little bit bothersome to me because it puts the weight, the weight and balance is off a little bit. You know, you just see the way it holds this particular phone is like, it's not in the center because there's a button right in the center. Um, that's why I really like my Asus phone because the buttons were on the top. Uh, people didn't like that, a lot of complaints about it, whatever, but it's like, whatever, it's, there's nothing there restricting you from being able to put, place it in the mount. And I don't know if this one here is tall enough I don't think it gets tall enough to where I could stretch it out all the way to mount the phone in sideways. That would be better because that, but then again, you know, it eliminates being able to connect the power to it. So, you know, it's like six, one half dozen, the other kind of thing. Uh, but anyways, I just want to introduce you to this little mount that I have. Just place your phone in it. Uh, and I like to use the uh, soft case uh, wraparound thing on it because uh, that helps, you know, get a little bit more, you're not putting pressure directly on the phone. And there are like little rubber mounts inside here. Just pull this out. In the top here, you can get if you get it in the light there. Maybe you can see it better than I can. But there's a there's a little rubber mount on the top and on the bottom, so that even if your phone didn't have a little rubber case around it, it's not going to be squeezing too tight. Um, and you really you know, but but with the two rubber you know or you know soft covers connecting, you get it in there pretty tight. You know, a nice soft connection without doing any damage to your phone, right? So you put that right on the tripod. My, my tripod's over there, but you put it right on a tripod, get it mounted up, and that's the way it would sit on there normally, and it just works great. So I just want to introduce you to that. Now this one here is so no-name brand, it has no name on it whatsoever. So I can't even tell you which one it was, but I know I spent less than ten dollars for it. It was delivered, you know, at no cost to my house, and uh, I thought that was fantastic. So it was a good deal, 
It allows me to experiment, get the job done, and keep on making video, all right? So that's gonna wrap this one up. Um, this little mount is this what it looks like. Uh, basically, it just has a screw in the center and expands and contracts as needed uh, to get the job done. There's all kinds of different ones that have springs and everything else in it, but I wanted something that had a screw connection and was decent weight on the plastic to you know, give me you know, some decent you know, ex, you know, lifespan on the device itself. But this one's pretty good. And it also has, like I said, that connection where you can uh, turn it sideways, right? So however you want to deal with your phone, however you're making your videos for whatever kind of project you might be working on, all right? So that's, that's going to wrap this one up. If you have any questions or comments, drop me a note below. Let me know you came by to say hi. Uh, don't forget to give me that thumbs up and like this video. I greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It helps me grow on the network, and I greatly appreciate that as well. Until so I catch you in the next video, take care and be well.